Today I want to talk about five things you're going to love about this speaker, two things you may not be excited about, and I'll give you some audio samples so you can make up your own mind. This is a portable Bluetooth speaker. So one of the five things that you're going to like about it, it is loud, very loud in fact, and that's part of the problem, which I'll get to later on. This is IPX7 rated, so it is water resistant. It's got a little rubber booty here on the side that is very tight, and that'll give you access to your USB for charging and a headphone jack. So if you wanna actually hardwire something versus Bluetooth, and it, it is a tight, tight fit, so I feel like they did a really great job with that. Uh, it's got two 40 watt, uh, it's 40 watts altogether. It's got two mids, two tweeters, and what I believe is a passive subwoofer in the middle. Most of the time when you buy a Bluetooth speaker, you just connect one and that's it. This one, you can actually connect two. You gotta follow the instructions, push some, push some buttons on the front, but you can actually connect two of these at one time so you can take that loudness, multiply it by two, and phenomenal. The other unique thing about the speaker is that it's bi-directional. So you have all of your front-facing speakers here, but it's also got a passive radiator speaker on the back, so it sounds almost as good on the back side of the unit as the front. Now, that's one of the other problems with the speaker is that because all the speakers are on the front, um, that includes the tweeters. So it's gonna be much brighter on the front end versus the back end. But let me tell you, if you're at a beach party and you've got one of these things cranked, I don't think people are gonna notice one way or the other. I think it's a really nice design um, that's unique to this speaker. The other problem with this speaker is that it's loud, and I think one of the ways they were able to do that is they cut out the bass. Great mid-tones, um, especially like audio, so they, they really focused on the mid-tones, so audio sounds really crisp. Uh, think of lyrics, people singing. Um, that's gonna sound good. If you want some heavy bass, I don't think this is going to be your speaker, though. With all that power comes the potential to actually overdrive these speakers and blow them out. So while I was testing how loud it gets, I was able to get them to a point where they distorted. So I wish they had some sort of so sophisticated electronics inside that would prevent the speakers from being overdriven. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the speaker towards me so it's driving into the microphone. One of the things I noticed while testing the speakers is that at the lower levels, the volume tends to jump quite a bit. So if you're trying to go from volume two to three, there's a big change, but as you get louder, it's a little bit more gradual. So I wish there was a little bit of fine tuning. Uh, you'll probably hear what I'm, what I'm saying as I go ahead and crank up the volume. Right there. That's one volume and then just one up. It's a significant change versus the other ones. Side. The back side sounds almost as good as the front side does. Again, it's not going to be quite as bright because we're missing out on the tweeters, but let me play this again. Back side. Front side. All righty, folks, that is the quick review of this portable Bluetooth 40-watt speaker that is bi-directional, and you can connect two of these up to a single device.